The day has arrived, months of speculation. Will we finally hear what Apple has been working on behind its very closed off world? <laughs> there is a conference underway right now in San Francisco. The place to be if you uh, love new gadgets are working in a high tech industry. Uh, again, the conference going on right now, the speech getting underway. We're finally going to find out what's in store for the iPhone, or will we? Dylan <laughs> Tweeney, the senior editor of Wired Magazine, joins us now live from New York. Hi, Dylan. Hi, thanks for having me on. Absolutely, thank you for your time. So there's really two stories here. There's a story of will Steve Jobs be appearing today at that meeting in San Francisco? And of course, will we get new technology? Are we going to find some new technology? I guess it's the third version of the iPhone? There's undoubtedly going to be some new technology. The question is what, what it's going to be. Um, probably, I wouldn't put money on a major upgrade to the iPhone. It's likely that they'll announce a new iPhone that has a few uh, slightly enhanced features, like it might have a little bit more memory, it might have a better camera, and uh, rumors suggest that it might have a built-in compass so you can tell oh. which uh, direction you're pointed. But the focus, I think, is going to be on the new software, which they've already announced, the version 3.0 of the iPhone software that adds a lot of capabilities that will make the phone really much more um, much more advanced than it is right now. Dylan, I know there's been some speculation online that while today may not be a huge hardware announcement, that that could be coming in the next few weeks, maybe by the end of the month. Yeah, I think our, our best guess is that probably by the end of this month or early July, they're going to both release the new software and probably if there's new hardware, um, that'll come out at just about the same time. But I, unfortunately, I don't think that there's going to be anything new uh, for people to line up at the Apple Store for today. Okay, but it could be sometime later this summer. Yeah, almost, almost undoubtedly, because it's been a year since the last uh, major iPhone uh, update came out. So that would be right on schedule. For it would them. be right on schedule because, of course, that's when the holiday shopping really kicks into high gear and the lists are starting to be created, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Also, Steve Jobs, he's been on medical leave since uh, earlier in the year. Uh, any word on whether or not he'll actually be making an appearance today? Uh, we're not really sure. I think it would be outstanding if he showed up, and he would certainly get a rock star welcome if, uh, if he did show up today. But um, r the rumors are saying that basically he's on schedule to come back. He's just uh, very wan and very thin. So, you know, I, I, you, you can't really predict with Steve. You never know. But he might show. And if he does, uh, a lot of people are going to be really excited. Dylan, isn't part of the story the fact that Apple has been able to do well over the past few months without Steve Jobs at the helm. And if so, doesn't that bode well for the company? I think it does. I mean, the company is way more than just Steve Jobs. I mean, he picked very, uh, a very good team, a very competent team, and they're just not going to go away. You know, all the designers and the brilliant marketing people um, and the brilliant product people that he has in place aren't going to go, over, uh, go away overnight just because he's not there. Um, on the other hand, he does have an awful lot to do with uh, how you know, their products come out, and he's way more involved, makes way more de uh, detailed design decisions than most CEOs. So I think it's pretty clear that if he were to be gone for a long time, uh, the company would definitely suffer. He's definitely been critical to um, the success of products like the iPhone and the iMac. All right, so just to wrap things up here, if there were one thing, Dylan, that you think that we should be really looking forward to, perhaps not today or next week, but sometime this summer at the Apple Store, what is it? Is it going to be a cheaper iPhone? Probably they're not going to knock the price down a lot more than they already have. My guess is a better camera, probably more memory, and, uh, and a compass, and we'll have to wait to see <laughs> what developers do with the compass.